everyone, it's Chelsea from Paper Octeo Studio, and today I am sharing with you my first three days worth of Artist Trading Card a Day Challenge for 2017. This is going on all through the month of June, and I will be making an Artist Trading Card every day, and then I will clump them together and make videos for most of them. Can't guarantee that I'll have all of them in the month, but I wanted to show them to you so that you could see the process. This one for the first day is a background that I received from another person in a swap and I believe it is alcohol ink on photo paper, the kind that you would run through your printer. Um, I trimmed it down so that there is a little white border all the way around the edge and then I've got out these little letters that spell art they are kind of a sticker back chipboard type of a letter. Um, I believe I got them at Tuesday morning. Um, they're not very good quality, but they work for this. So I painted them with white acrylic paint, titanium white. And then I'm going to do some doodling on the background to bring out what to me appears to be flowers. I mean, that's that's what I see when I look at these um, random droplets of alcohol ink every time I see them <laughs> unless somebody has used a stencil or something they look like flowers to me they that's what I see so I'm using my fine tip white Posca pen and I'm just like drawing around the edges of a splotch and I'm I'm careful to make sure that I am using exactly what is there I'm not drawing on top of the background and ignoring what's in the background. I'm actually trying to highlight and bring out the design that is already there. So the splotches of course are kind of bumpy so I'm making bumpy edges and then um, you know I might take a little bit of artistic license and add in maybe a line or two that isn't there but I'm trying to keep with what is there. It's a different process than just making a background and then drawing something over the top of it and filling it in. It's a little bit different than that, but it's just doodling and it's something that's fun to do just to kind of relax your mind. It's intuitive. You don't have to think about it. You just look at it and see what you see and then try to bring it out with your pins. So I'm also using the fine tip um, black Posca and just adding in a few little shadows, uh, not a lot a lot more white than there is the black but um, it helps to bring it out a little bit gives it a little bit more contrast oh, excuse me it's been a long day <laughs> it's, it's night time now it's time for bed but I've got to edit the video I've got to edit the video so once I'm happy with my doodling um, which doesn't really take very long because you know an ATC is two and a half inches by three and a half inches or if you prefer centimeters I believe it's nine by six and a half centimeters so these these little cards don't take very long it's easy to do one a day um, and I suggest that everyone joins it all you have to do is just make an artist trading card and post it in social media that can be Instagram is where I'm posting most of them or Facebook or Pinterest and then you just add the hashtag in the description that's that little cross thing that, that used to mean number but it's now called the hashtag and then ATCAD2017 artist card artist trading card a day 2017 so uh, not not a difficult thing to do and I hope a lot of you do join it so I went and got Oh, I guess I did do some splatters, just some white splatters using the leftover acrylic, white acrylic paint and a little bit of water um, that was left on my palette from painting the letters. And then I went and got some just sewing thread and I made several wrappings around the card with this sewing thread. It's black sewing thread. And then I am gluing it on to the other background. This this uh, paper that has the, the alcohol ink on it isn't very thick and so that's why I wanted to glue it to one of my regular 140 pound watercolor paper cutout cards 
um, to make it thicker and more sturdy. So then I took another little bit of thread and balled it up into a little, you know, ball. <laughs> Not a ball exactly, but a tangle, I guess. And then I laid that down, and then I'm just letting the letters that I'm putting on hold that thread onto the card. Because once I put the three letters on, they will hold. And I'm using some tacky glue on the back uh, to make sure that those that the sticky stuff on those isn't very sticky and so it doesn't stay stuck. So I did go ahead and use some tacky glue. And then to finish it off, I'm just taking uh, one of the Tim Holtz Tiny Chat uh, stickers and sticking it on there. I'm going to draw around it with um, my black Posca pen and then I will be done with this first day's artist trading card. So on to day two. Now this video is weird. I think what happened was I accidentally recorded it on time lapse and so it was like it was like a minute worth of video. And so I slowed it way down so that you could see what I was doing. I slowed it as much as I could on my editor but it's jerky because I think it just takes like a snapshot every few however milliseconds or whatever so it's weird but it's not a difficult technique I got this new fine line frisket fluid um, I have the fine that I have the fine liners and I put some black and some white paint in them before this one's already filled and it comes with frisket fluid which is a rubbery substance that you put on watercolor paper to block out something that you don't want to get color on. So I, if you've been watching my videos, you've seen me do this technique before using that pen that's sitting right there. That's the Molotow uh, Frisket pen, which makes it really easy to apply Frisket. But the tip on it is fat, and so I wanted something thinner, so I decided to try out this fine liner filled with Frisket that I got off of Amazon. And I will link all the products that I'm using on these cards in the description box below um, so that you can go get them if you want. Most of the links go to Amazon and I do get a few cents um, as a, you know, if I, if you use my link to Amazon, then they say, oh, I've advertised and then they give me a few cents. So I'm always happy when you use my links. So then once my frisket is dry, and all I did was draw some flowers and dots and little, you know, whimsical stuff, just doodling-y, whimsical-y stuff, then I got out my brusho, which is a pigment powder, and I shook it on, I used the yellow and the green and the turquoise first, uh, sprayed it with water, and then dried it, and then put on a little bit of the scarlet and the violet and maybe a little bit of the orange and just um, once you spray the watercolor paper with the little powder crystals on there then they bloom and you have a watercolor background so then I removed the frisket using that little tool it's like a hard a hard rubber thing that you use for erasing um, anything that's sticky on your paper, like say you accidentally put tape runner on your paper, you can erase it with that. I've had that thing forever and it's really good for removing frisket. So um, then I I did add in a little bit more brusho mixed with water in a few places just to kind of like bump up a few places. Then I trimmed it down and I mounted it and mounting it on a piece of dark green cardstock just to give it a border. And I also have some green and white baker's twine that I'm wrapping around it and making a little bow. And I added some tiny chat stickers again um, and outlined them with a gray marker, I think. I don't know if I've done that yet. Yeah, there we go. A gray brush marker. And they, that takes care of day two. So we're on to day three, which is June 3rd. <laughs> This one's kind of vintagey. Um, I decided to use my box of scraps. This is like stuff that's left over from other stuff or it's on the floor. You know, I told you I was picking up all this stuff off the floor. 
Um, there's a lot of those scraps in this box. It's just stuff that doesn't get put away that is, you know, I don't know. I'm going to use it at some point. And sometimes I do a series called Tags from the Dusk, which I use these scraps to make tags. And that's basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a collage on this ATC for the third day. So I'm pulling out different things that I think coordinate in color and pattern. And it looks like I'm going to go for kind of a, a vintagey, rust-colored, orangey, off-white um, color scheme on this based on the pieces that I picked out. And I'm just auditioning different pieces. I don't end up using everything that I pulled out. But if you just collect your scraps together using a color, um, either a single color or like three colors, you can get some really great collages going and on an ATC they're really quick and fun because it's so small that you don't have to worry about um, that you don't have to worry that much about composition or anything you just just um, make it please you make it look the way you want it to and it's fun so I to start out with I used a couple of the napkins one of them has music on it and the other one has like kind of a, a script writing and that's what I did for my first layer using some Liquitex fluid matte medium to get those all stuck on. You know, napkins are thin, so I use the fluid one usually for those. And then I continue on. Uh, that piece is from an envelope that someone sent me, and it's got dots. And the dots kind of get lost in the collage. But I saved it because of the dots. They're like raised, embossed dots on this, this what used to be an envelope. Um, so I stick that down. Then I have this little piece uh, that I tear off from a wine label that uh, my friend Don sent me. Uh, very pretty colors. Kind of, I don't know, almost southwesterny looking wine la label. And I just use one side of it that has some pictures on it. And also this copper metallic paper that's been die cut into a um, gear. I have some gear die cuts and it's just been sitting around. I mean, it's been sitting around for a while. I think maybe two years at least. <laughs> so it's about time I use it. <laughs> I remember I cut them out for a page, a steampunk page that I was doing. And I think that that was... The, the first November of my channel, which would be uh, Nano Jalmo, which is the November Art Journaling Every Day Challenge. I believe it was that long ago that I cut those out, and it's just been sitting in that bin waiting for me to use it. So this little picture was a picture of a girl at a tea party that I received in Happy Mail, and I just decided to punch her out and then make then use this little scrap piece that someone sent me um, of painty paper and make a little border for it. It's a tag shaped punch. I had a couple different squares and they weren't big enough so I decided to use this little tag shaped punch. I'm going around the edges with some archival ink just to finish the edges. You know I like borders around edges. Uh, the colors are orange blossom and potting soil that I'm using. Orange, orange blossom is orange, but it's actually almost kind of a copper, which is why I like it. <laughs> Go copper! So, let's see, what do I do? Once that's done, I'm still like messing around a little bit, but then I find a little piece of lace and some jute twine, and I decide to use those. I punch the little piece with the tag the, that's shaped like a tag with a punch and tie jute around it. Um, through the hole. So it's like a little teeny tiny tag on there. And then I glue that scrap lace across the bottom of the tag. Because you know it's a little girl. A kind of old fashioned -y little girl at a tea party. So lace was very appropriate. And then I just stick that on and I add a little word and I'm done with that one. I hope you're enjoying these. I hope that you've joined in the challenge. Uh, make sure that you give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment so that I know that you were here, subscribe if you haven't already, and remember to turn on your notification bell because that's the new thing with uh, YouTube or else you don't get notified all the time. 
and of course share you can uh, pin these to Pinterest or you know make a playlist whatever you want so that's it for me thanks bye bye <laughs>